The coordinator of Presidential Tax Force on COVID-19, Dr. Sani Aliyu, says the August 29 resumption of international flights as announced by the PTF COVID-19 briefing is not sacrosanct. Aliyu, who made the clarification at the PTF on COVID-19 briefing in Abuja, explains that the dates would be for consideration of resumption of flights. According to him, August 29 is not sacrosanct, but if aviation authorities meet the criteria for resumption on the 29th, they will be given the green lights to resume. Earlier, the Minister of Aviation, Hadi Sirika, said that international flights which were suspended by the nation's aviation authorities in the country as a result of the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic globally would resume on August 29, 2020. Sam, a delicate tourism expert and social commentator, joins us now to take a look at this development. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Good evening. Good evening. Did the suspension of international flights due to the COVID-19 pandemic uh, have an impact on the local tourism sector? Yes, indeed. Um, since the lockdown happened in April till now, we have not been able to do business. Um, most of the tour destinations, most of the sites, in fact, not most, all of them were shut. And right now, we have people who have been asking us, you know, I mean, my colleagues in the industry, you know, I'm asking for bailouts, for palliatives, because the, the travel industry is such an industry with low margin, and we thrive on volume. And having this abrupt lockdown in which we all thrive on the nomadic nature of our clients, people have to move around, people have to spend for us to make money. So local tourism, which has been crawling, just Abroad came to a standstill uh, in the 2018-2019 um, GDP report. We only contributed about 1.6% to the GDP. You know, so right now we are at the lowest head. You know, and for many of us, aside the fact that we do domestic tourism, actually the bulk of our earnings is even outbound tourism. Nigerians spent over a billion dollars on flight tickets alone outside the country. So. The, the amount of people that even travel Nigeria on a normal day is nothing compared to those that go outside. So this lockdown and this COVID-19 has really, really affected the nascent sector which we have been, you know, um, preaching and advocating for growth over time. Mm. And uh, with the lift in international flights, there are some predictions about foreign travel decreasing, especially with COVID-19 restrictions in different countries. What's your take on this? It is, it is real. Um, yesterday when the news came, we were all excited. Yay, yay, yay. We're going to start traveling. All our clients are like salmon, our booking tickets and all that. But before we could, you know, um, settle down business, we saw the addendum or the later words of the um, COVID-19 PTF coordinator saying that it is just from, not that it is on 29th, you know. So right now, the excitement as, as, as dissipated because we are not even sure anymore. But to, to be honest, um, I can confirm in you that um, most of the airlines have started opening up their inventory on GDS. So GDS is the global distribution system where we all do our booking. So Turkish, British, and other airlines are already you know, open up, opening up. But then we are being warned that we need to slow down so that we don't get cancelled flights. So right now, even though people are excited to travel, the other issue, aside is the fact that the federal government is not even decisive on a particular day, because from what we hear, it appears people in government are crashing out from the evacuation flights. You know, so most of the evacuation flights that are being organized across all the embassies of the country, across the world. Uh, 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 so the embassies get the money directly, they pay the airlines. The fact that today we still got a letter from the Russian embassy, Nigerian mission. That is another there will be an evacuation flight on the 31st of August. So we have um, a, a, a situation in which people are making money from evacuation flights at the detriment of opening up, you know, the economy. Okay. But the other side to this, and because of the sense light is, is, a, is a good, is a green light, is the fact that people are being compelled to take COVID-19 tests before they depart. And many of our clients who are reaching out to us that, oh, Sam, where I, I need to travel to the U.S., I need to go to Europe, I need some holiday at least, I need to get out of this entire um, environment just to ease myself and to get some fresh air. 
they, they, are, they are discouraged because they have to go through that painful COVID-19 test. You know, so we're okay. telling them that, see, even if, even the, remember the fact that everywhere is going to be open, but still, we are going to advise that please be careful. Thanks for, thanks for, thanks for joining us, Gagran. Mr. Adele you know, We're running out of time okay. at this moment. Thanks for sharing your thoughts with us. All right, thank you for having me.